A Botano family says two tornadoes touched down close to their property last night. The hills say one touched down in a field and the other in a slough a quarter of a mile away. The storm damaged a large tree as well as the roof and door of their barn. Then everything just turned crazy and we started hearing noises and then we couldn't see anything. So we didn't really know what had happened until we, it calmed down and we came outside and saw all the, the damage. Hill says she's thankful nobody got hurt, but Kevin, it sounds like the weather is ripe for that same sort of thing tonight. Yeah, that's right. Botno had tornadoes, or Nor Botno County, I should say, and also uh, Southeast Morton County into Sioux County last night. Now, this is not current, but this is from last night at 835 or so in the Breen area, Porcupine as well. So, uh, vivid uh, display of Mother Nature here over the past 24 hours, which will likely continue. In fact, our live Dickinson Skywatch camera, where it's 92, and ominous looking skies were pointed toward the northwest here. Thunderstorms developing in northern Stark County. Severe weather is ongoing and actually increasing here in eastern Montana, western North Dakota. Severe thunderstorm warning areas just south of Williston, including Billings, Golden Valley, and McKenzie counties until 545 Mountain Time. And here we go in the Weibo area, actually north of Weibo, but in Weibo County, a rather sizable hail. We could see upwards of baseball size hail with these storms in eastern Montana and western North Dakota. That threat not so much now in Dickinson, but the storm chance is lifting a little bit north, far northern Star County, Dunn County as well. Non-severe weather approaching the Manning area, but expanding the view. Again, we see thunderstorms. This is where most of it's going to be during the evening. Eastern Montana into the western third of North Dakota, perhaps around midnight towards central portions of the Peace Garden State. So not everybody has severe weather for tonight. A lot more to cover coming up a little bit later on. We could all use a break from the heat, Kevin. Yes, we could. We need the rain. We can do without the heat and the air that you can wear here, right? You can slice it with the knife. Look at our Williston Skywatch camera. Not as hot, 83 degrees, but look at the sky really darkening here. Thunderstorms now just to the south. Tornado watch all over eastern Montana into western North and South Dakota. This goes until midnight mountain daylight time. It'll be a bit on the rough side here within the confines of this tornado watch. We can already see that cluster of thunderstorms here just south of Williston, but more likely to develop in northeast Montana and the Black Hills moving into southern North Dakota here the next several hours. Look at this cluster of thunderstorms here again, destined for Williston as the overall movement is toward the north northeast. Right now, Dickinson, you're close by to the showers and thunderstorms, which are just to your north, but awaiting a new area of development here in southwest North Dakota. Already seeing a little bit here popping up to the south of the Queen City. We'll see if that continues to be a trend. I think it will. Look at our dew points. Really, anything in the 60s or 70s, it just gets worse and worse. And 70 degree dew points is very sultry. 73 dew point right now in Bismarck. This is more like the Gulf Coast. 75 dew points in Mulbridge and Aberdeen. That means the heat index. What does it feel like with all that moisture in the air? Nearly 100 in Bismarck, 102 in Mulbridge and actual temps are in the low 90s. It's 91 in Bismarck Mandan right now and in Mulbridge 93 in Henninger 92 in Dickinson. Lots of very unstable air and that's why these thunderstorms are continuing to develop in Montana and western North Dakota. The winds really feeding in that moisture supply into that present complex of thunderstorms but again more developing to the south into the night. Now there is a heat advisory until 8 o'clock over central and eastern North Dakota all the way really from from areas east of Dickinson through Bismarck Mandan, including Minot toward Devil's Lake and Jamestown. Uh, again, with that heat index, it'll feel like between 100 and 105. And a basically a large area of a flash flood potential over west central, northwest and north central North Dakota until Wednesday morning. So a long time here early Wednesday morning at one o'clock. The chances for thunderstorms forming in the same areas could result in flash flooding like we have those thunderstorms now moving into McKenzie County. So the severe threat for tonight, more or less over eastern Montana into the western third of North Dakota up toward Minot. Bismarck, you've got a chance, but more or less toward midnight. And I think the greatest chances for severe stay to the west. 
Not so much though for tomorrow as everything shifts into central and eastern North Dakota. So again, we're talking about storms coming in waves here for the next couple of days. Right now it's hazy, hot and humid. Thunderstorms breaking out into western North Dakota all night tonight into the overnight. Look at mine out likely to see heavy thunderstorms by midnight and then more recurring thunderstorms coming in from the south here. That moisture supply remains here just about anywhere. Could see a chance for severe weather between tonight through the day tomorrow. Here's a snapshot of five o'clock. The northern half of the state will likely have the most rain potential. Quick check of the moisture forecast between tonight through early Wednesday. Many areas receiving between one and three inches. Seven day forecast. The storm factor decreases by the holiday weekend, but temps stay hot back in the 90s. Good evening from the First Warren Forecast Center. I'm meteorologist Kevin Large. Another active afternoon into the evening, although a little bit earlier than what we had yesterday in far western North Dakota. A lot of lightning, lots of thunder again with this loud system moving through now central North Dakota. Minot seeing showers and thunderstorms. Good news here. No severe weather warnings are in effect at the moment, including the Bismarck Mandan area with the heaviest showers just now lifting north toward Wilton. Northern and eastern Burley County seeing that band of showers and thunderstorms also in northern Morton County. But a few showers linger, but the worst is going to, or the heaviest of the showers will end up over the eastern half of North Dakota, primarily east of US 83 the remainder of the night. Here are a couple of rainfall reports here, many received, but of the major reporting sites, Bismarck closing in on two inches, about an inch and a third for Dickinson, Willison and Minot with roughly one half of an inch or just over. And in Jamestown, nothing yet but showers will be on the way into the night. Chances for severe weather greatest toward Jamestown the next few hours. Destroyed hay barn here. Rachel snapping this photo from the Grassy Butte area. So we did have many reports of severe thunderstorms producing damage in western and central North Dakota. And earlier today, north of Williston at the 13-mile corner, a report of a funnel cloud here from Sheldon. That was at 2 p.m. Check out skyspyphotos.com. We have a tremendous this gallery of photos received over the past 24 Alan, uh, hours. Alan, more coming up a little bit later on. Well, I haven't felt the sun bearing down on us much today, Kevin, which is good news. It is a nice break from the relentless heat that we've had and heat indices in the triple digits yesterday. Nothing like that for today with a lot of cloud cover. Severe weather threat tonight is transitioning toward the northern half of North Dakota and the eastern half. So north of I-94, east of U.S. 83 southwest corner of the state into South Dakota. The atmosphere has stabilized significantly. Still chance for large hail, damaging winds, heavy rain and a few tornadoes not out of the question in this polygon here. This rectangle in yellow. That would be a severe thunderstorm watch issued by the Storm Prediction Center until late tonight. Jamestown, I've got you circled here in surrounding areas because you're going to get your turn where you haven't had any measurable rain yet, but this might come at a price with chances of severe thunderstorms the next couple of hours. Sky Tracker radar, again, the last band just now moving through Bismarck Mandan. Light to moderate showers in Minot, no severe thunderstorm warnings statewide or the entire first warm viewing area at this time. Conditions won't be quite the same tonight as they were last night. Still, we hold on to a flash flood watching green here over central North Dakota, up and down the US 83 corridor. I think some of that might be let go though, as uh, trends are suggesting everything shifting into eastern North Dakota. Again, where that severe thunderstorm watch is here actually goes till one o'clock early tomorrow morning over eastern North Dakota, well east of US 83. Slight risk for severe weather there at any one point. Not so much of a threat now back over western North Dakota. Let's play this out with our outlook tonight through tomorrow. Again, notice where the showers and thunderstorms will be over the next hour east of 83. Chances for severe weather increasing here, the eastern half of the state. A couple of lighter showers back farther toward the west here, but really not too much to worry about. And then by late tonight, most of the state will be severe weather three. Free as everything kind of shifts into Minnesota briefly and then eventually weakens into southern Canada. A nicer day for tomorrow with a lot more sunshine outside of a few isolated cells, not out of the rebel possibility of a scattered thunderstorm. Do keep that in mind, but not quite the same environment 
as what we've had the past couple of days. So maybe an afternoon shower or thunderstorm. Actually, that could be for almost every day the next seven days. As far as the precip potential with thunderstorms ongoing right now through tonight, best potential again, eastern North Dakota, at least a half of an inch. Some of these have been real soakers right now in Bismarck at 71 degrees with a pro with nearly two inches of rain over the past three days. Minot 69 degrees right now, almost three quarters of an inch and Dickinson over an inch beneficial rain now at 62 and also 62 cool degrees in Williston with just over half of an inch storm total. Our highs for tomorrow back into the 80s, a lot more sunshine. One reason why all the Williston at 77 and the seven day forecast. If you like the heat that does make a return here with highs back in the 90s by Thursday and Friday, 4th of July, Saturday highs in the low 90s. And Alan, look at the trend here. Every single day, a chance for afternoon and evening thunderstorms on a widely scattered basis, not an organized system like we've had moved through already, but we'll remain weather aware. Chances for storms, but more misses than hits. Have to keep our eyes open. That's right.